Hi guys, so today is a rainy Thursday uh, So it's around 3.30pm So a lot of people ask me why I decided to buy a Camry and a Honda Accord Especially a second hand uh, First would be when I grew up I never really had a mid-size sedan Puro SUV vans Tapos mga hatchbacks A lot of hatchbacks And of course pickups, I had a lot of pickups before so that's one reason. Second, parang because now also yung mga mid-size uh, SUVs, compact, uh, you know, CUVs, parang konti na lang yung mga mid-size sedans now, diba, na binibili ng mga tao. Because for a price of a mid-size sedan, you could get a, you know, like a Fortuner, Montero, MUX, Santa Fe, Sorento, diba? So seven-seater SUVs, diba? Tapos diesel pa. You know, for me, because I'm not a, a really a diesel uh, fan, to be honest. Uh, mas gusto ko yung uh, gas cars, gas engine cars. I mean, I don't mind it, pero for of course, especially for a uh, sedan, wala naman masyadong diesel na sedans na mid-size here in the Philippines. So that's also one reason. And second, I like the look of the older Camrys and the older Accords, to be honest. And of course, the V6 engine is... Uh, is is I know it's a dying engine. Wala nung, uh the the new the new Accord here in the Philippines. We only have a 1.5 and it's a CVT transmission. Then the new Toyota Camry here in the Philippines. We only have a 2.5 V, which is a 2.5 four cylinder, which is around I think 170 horsepower, something like that. So you know, for the price of a second hand Camry, which is not a lot of money, and an Accord, you could get. Basically, 270 horsepower on each on each uh, model, de ba? Tapos, it's it's so roomy. So that's also, that's one you know one good reason why. So guys, the second reason why I got a Camry and a Accord, besides it being a midsize sedan, is of course comfort, de ba? Midsize sedans are known for comfort, and of course the space. The nice thing with this Camry, the XV40, um, is at the back. Diba? Besides it being maluwag Tapos meron ka pang aircon vents Which I'll show later Ang daming options sa likod So you have your If I press this If you look at the back So you got your rear sunshade diba? So it's nice to have this, Especially on sunny days diba? Now hindi mo makikita kasi yung dumilim So if I press it down There you go So kung hindi ka mahilig sa tint masyado And you want something like You know, a, a, a sunshade then This one offers it automatic pa. So that's one. And second guys, here in the rear uh, windows sa passengers, the second row, so you got uh, sunshade here also. Diba? So it's super convenient. Tapos you got your dim lights here. So it's like amber. At night, umiilaw to. So hindi ka mahirapan to open your doors. And of course, the interior, I mean, like I said guys, this is a 13-year-old car. So 2007 still pristine. I mean, the first owner really took care of the car. So, sobrang alaga. Then, even got your switches here for this to adjust. So, if you press this, nag adjust for you. So, if you have another passenger here. So, you got a lot of wood trimmings. And guys, here, like I said, your controls for your rear um, rear um, seats, the back. So, they're automatic. So, you could recline the seats also. Tapos you got, of course, your sunshade, your air temp, you can off it, and also your volume controls right here. Diba? It's nice and uh, rainy day now. So, ang sarap, you know, sometimes pag bored ako, you know, I like to drive around. Uh, and now, I'm just enjoying the backseat or drive around the village. Diba? Tapos, guys, like I said, I did a couple of videos about consumption, right? For me, matipid, hindi naman sobrang tipid, but matipid siya for the car, for the power that it has. Tapos you have that comfort and that space that you want. So if you look at the ceiling guys, napakalinis. This car only has 55,000 kilometers for a 13 year old car. So med it's pretty low. And you got your vents here. Tapos you got, you know, stuff here at the back. I did a review of this car. I think <clears throat> it's my first review of any car. Uh, my first video was six months ago, so medyo matagal-tagal na.
guys there that's basically why I like this car because you know nowadays it you know um, a lot of people they don't want to spend too much on their car right? they want to especially you know during this tough times pandemic and all uh, we want to value our money more than ever I think so it's it's nice to look at these kind of cars nandi masyado mahal but at the same time they're reliable cars I mean Toyota like I said the Toyota Camry Honda even if you like other cars like Vio Civics and other, you know even Hyundai and Kia which they're known for their diesel engines a month so for not a lot of money guys you could get a pretty nice car I mean this is still considered a executive sedan here in the Philippines in other countries no but other countries don't have the XV40 like in the states they just have a normal Camry this one's called the Toyota Orion in other countries and in Japan also and you know like I said for you're talking about this car is like a price of uh, I think it's even cheaper than buying a Toyota Wigo if you bought it brand new so it's hard to compare diba? a Wigo versus a Camry diba? like I said even before naman you buy this car just make sure na you know it's well taken care of meron records tapos pa scan mo pa lift mo yung car make sure that everything's uh, you know okay I mean wear and tear parts that's a given guys I mean if the car is 350 for 450 set aside maybe 50,000 to replace your brake pads all your oils your filters diba? and of course tires palitan mo na lahat ng gulong kasi you need your tires to be brand new when you do buy a second hand car you don't know unless the first owner like I said replace the tires if it's a year or two years old no problem you could still use it for another three years diba? yung guys I mean those are basically why I like mid-size sedans and of course because I'm getting older I prioritize comfort more than it being Maporma but a lot of like I said when I bought this car it had 20 inch rims but I downsized I put back the stock rims just for more comfort and practicality because uh, sometimes you don't want to wash your potholes and stuff like that so you guys uh, now I think uh, you know, besides, of course, my love for European cars like W210 Mercedes, W126, 124, the really old ones, which you could get for really cheap now, 200,000, 250, 350. Ang problem lang with those kind of cars, you just have to be a, lit, a little bit more meticulous, meaning, kailangan talaga i research mo yung kotse, because German cars have a tendency to be a little bit more sensitive, and you have to replace more parts also. And it will be a little bit more expensive than buying Japanese uh, sedans. So guys, this is my short video about why mid-size sedans is a good option when you do buy a second-hand car. Or even um, uh, an SUV or a hatchback. Like Ford Focus, which you know I love. I have an MK2. I think the MK3 or the or the last one, the sorry, the EcoBoost one is a good buy also. Which you, you can get for 450 which is a 1.5 EcoBoost engine with, with with around, I think, 100, almost 180 horsepower for a hatchback. It's one of those cars I like, and also the Mazda 3, which is a good car also. So guys, I hope you're enjoying your Thursday. It's a rainy Thursday, but it's nice. The weather is nice. At least hindi siya masyado malakas yung ulan. So para iwas yung mga floods, ba? So you guys, keep safe, and thanks for watching another video. Uh, for more videos, please subscribe. And please click that notification bell. Take care.